About four years ago, my husband and I had the greatest privilege of falling pregnant with our first child. To say that we were delighted is the biggest understatement of the century. It was so heartbreaking to learn a few months down the line that I'd become sick with what's known as fibroids. And to really cut a long story short, I was admitted into hospital for about five weeks. Following that, our darling daughter was born um, almost four months early. Um, she went on to live in hospital for three months and then sadly passed away um, because it became really clear that her lungs weren't catching up with her. That was really hard for myself and I know for my husband as well. It was really hard to balance the faith, to balance signs and to balance for me the God who was supposed to be loving, who was supposed to be kind and who was supposed to be gracious. From the time I was a little girl, I've always kept a diary. And in my diary, I'd write, well, at the time I wasn't saved, hallelujah. So I'd be writing secrets in my diary. And there'd be a bad, um, dear diary, oh my goodness, I love this little boy. He reminds me of Usher. I want to marry him. I'm going to practice his signature. Um, and when I found Jesus, they moved from dear diary to dear God. And I'd write my prayers, I'd write my concerns and my fears. So it was no different with my kid. I wrote my letters down and soon after that, I felt a prompting and God saying to me that it was time that I converted those letters to becoming a book, which is called Dear God. Um, and the book really is snippets of a woman who's broken, a woman who's struggling with her faith, and a woman who's doing everything she possibly can to fight for her faith, to get her victory, and to remain intact in her passion and her commitment for love um, and for God. I've met so many women who've experienced similar things to me. They've had their children pass away, they've had their husbands pass away, or some have gone through a divorce, which um, leaves the same kind of emotions. My hope is that the book gives you faith. I hope the book draws you closer to God. So if you yourself have experienced something and you need, you need, you need to find that sense of hope. You feel that you've lost everything. You don't understand why things are happening at the moment. You um, can't see things getting any better. I encourage you strongly to get a hold of the book, but beyond just getting a hold of the book, get the truth, get the word of God. Surround yourself with people who love you and are there to support you. There is life after grief, though we don't talk about it as a community because I don't know we are scared to face the reality. Truth is we will all go through traumatic experiences and you'll be more empowered in walking through your trying times with the truth. And the truth of God is that you can hold on because morning is around the corner. Be blessed and enjoy the book. Thank you.